Hello friends Today it is 31st of January 2021 and uh, welcome back So what you see here it's uh, a cauliflower it's got a pinkish tint or or a light purple if you like to call it and this was uh, not grown for consumption and uh, it was grown for food but uh, i did not consume it um basically because i was kind of uh, in two minds whether to eat it or not although they say that the pinkish tint is uh, is a natural occurrence uh so i decided to grow this uh, uh you know as a uh, on an ornamental uh, uh basis and uh, looking at the plant this basically is a uh, is a very nice plant it's it's a very uh it's a it's, it's a very compact and it's very beautiful and uh, i decided to name it uh, adam so this is uh, my plant and i call it adam and uh, the plant has a partner so yeah we have uh, another seed that grew and uh, it decided to show up differently so you see that this is the plant and uh, the the leaves and everything so this is basically the cauliflower so every time you see the cauliflower you might have seen that uh, it looks like a Uh, it's look like a bulb right uh, looks like a small bulb and uh, it's compact but uh, have you ever seen a cauliflower which uh, grows like this like you know the the, the there are different uh, small bulbs uh, growing here and there and the colors are quite different so here is a purple cauliflower for you or you can call it a pinkish purple tint that the cauliflower has look at the colors here So this is what we have, and uh, it it is growing really nicely. Now, uh, okay. So the one on your left was uh, Adam. Hello, Adam. How are you today? Great sunshine. And the one on your right, I call it Eve. So hello, Eve. Good day. And looking at the pots here, well. If you see that, uh, if you see the pots, these are six-inch pots, and uh, not very, uh, not very, uh, what you call large, and not very small either. So it's kind of a in between. So it's a medium-sized six-inch pot, the regular six-inch pot that you can buy, and this is uh, made out of plastic. So this is regular six-inch plastic pot, and the soil that I have used. Uh, is basically the organic potting mix the regular one that you buy from the market a plus i have added some extra coco peat uh okay i'm not sure what this what's the secret to this uh, tint uh what the secret to this tint is but what i can tell you is that what i did to uh, you know uh, from the seed to where it is right now what i have done so far is that So I have grown this in the six-inch pot, and uh, I have used the organic potting mix, the regular one that we use. And this cauliflower seed that I uh, had was uh, treated with the uh, thyram. Thyram is a natural uh, fungicide, so it was treated with thyram, and uh, it grew very well. And uh, there was no issue with the fungus or anything at all. Uh, so. Uh, Regarding the soil, I haven't added any uh, fungicide to the soil as such. And uh, if you look at the soil, uh, basically the, the soil is basically the made out of the natural potting mix and coco peat. I have added on top uh, as a mulch, you know, kind of a mulch layer, and, and it's kind of a coarse coco peat and dry, um, a thin layer of coco peat. So both the layers I have added, and. Uh, looking at how it grew well it grew directly in the pots so i have not transplanted them at all 
and the seeds were planted in the pot uh, like in uh, September around September 2020 yeah so it took that time it, it grew very slowly but then uh, you know in uh, late uh, December I would say December not late December so in in November end or December uh, you know the 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 bulb start to form the bulb the flower bulb started to form on both these uh, beauties so uh, mr adam and mr e were planted in the same way there was no difference as such and uh, you can see the the flowers the tip of the flowers uh, oh i'm sorry the tip of the leaves <laughs> so if you can see the tip of the leaves these are like you know it's it's it's, it's got a tint of purple uh, at the tip of the leaves and uh, so far it survived whatever onslaught was there with insects with uh, you know uh, everything so so the tip of the leaves are a bit purple you can see them so these are the tips okay now uh, what i have done here is uh, i have planted uh, these directly in the in, in these pots and uh, the seeds i mean and uh, <clears throat> they grew uh, in about a week or 10 days they sprung up and then uh, they started to uh, grow and uh, what i have done is as a fertilizer i have used a combination of two things i have used uh, a little bit just a little bit of wood ash a little bit of wood ash added to the soil and i have used the um, you know the uh, top of the egg which is the um, egg shell so i have used i've crushed uh, an egg shell and then i have used that uh, crushed egg shell powder and put it uh, in the soil and that was done about uh, i would say in the middle of december right and uh, after that i have seen a good growth in these plants and uh, it's kind of really looking beautiful and i'm sure this could be a replacement to any flower if it grows like this so it so we say cauliflower when we uh, hear that uh, we hear the word cauliflower uh, it automatically comes to mind that okay that's you know it's it's kind of a whitish uh, off white uh, uh, cauliflower that we see in the regular uh, in our regular markets or supermarkets but this one is really beautiful and uh, that's why i have decided to keep it as it is and uh, this i'm going to call adam here is adam hello adam and on your right is eve as you can see so these are the beauties and they grew really very well that's uh, you know that's all it takes to grow uh, these uh, these cauliflowers so you know the method that i have used to grow these cauliflowers now and uh, the other thing is that uh, for the exposure to sun these have been exposed to morning sun and uh, you know um, <clears throat> only morning sun so the afternoon sun did not impact these so whatever sunlight they received was about you know about it's about 3 uh, or 4 hours i would say every day and 3 4 hours of sunlight should be enough so they have been exposed to morning sunlight and uh, that's how they grew so you know it, it is said that uh, th these uh, this kind of a uh, pinkish or purple purple tint that you see is caused due to some chemical known as anthocyanin or something like that so you can research it on your own but uh, it's a natural compound and it does not cause any issues so this is naturally occurring in the uh, in the plant itself it is formed in the plant but uh, you know because of that i can see that the the, the, the and and also the way it, it has grown because i have uh, not allowed it to grow outside of the pot i have not transplanted it to any other pot uh, because of that uh, it grew differently had i transplanted this these two uh, items or had i you know uh, i imagine that if i 
uh, you know grew them in let's say a 12 inch pot or bigger than that then they would have might that they might they might have grown uh, as regular cauliflower bulbs but <clears throat> because of the fact that i have uh, used a 6 inch pots i think it might have something to do with the the way they grew and they stood up and you know you see they formed a bit differently and they look much more beautiful than uh, the ones that we are accustomed to seeing in a regular supermarkets <laughs> All right so that's about uh, Adam and Eve the story of Adam and Eve and uh, I decided to share it with you friends because I really like the way they grew and uh, you know uh, they they grew a bit differently but they stayed together so uh, that's all folks and uh, thank you for watching and please like share subscribe and take care have a great time bye for now thank you all